as I promised, let me see if I have some, I do. We are going to make a red bow for my porch, okay? Right now, I'm encouraging everybody to make a red bow for their porch. A red bow signifies hope for right now, okay? And I'm gonna make it big. I'm gonna go big or go home here, all right? So, here's how big my bow is gonna be. I'm going out to the C row, or the first, the F row, excuse me, it's the F row, all right? And what I'm gonna do, and I was trying, I, I know I wanna use this, but I also wanna use what one do I want to use? I want to make sure it's all red. I was going to use this with it, but I'm not liking that. And I don't, I'm not sure I like that combination either. Esther did the bow. She sent me a picture. It's beautiful. I loved it, Esther. I think I'm going to get the red. Let me go around the back here. I can't reach that far without knocking everybody over. I can do red polka dots or I can do a solid. It doesn't matter. It just has to be red. So let me see. I think I'm going to just do the solid. What the heck? You know all you, know, you all know I like tinsel tie. I don't like the other stuff. So what I'm going to actually do, and this is an easy one, if you have this, okay? But I'm actually going to put these together, all right? And we're just going to keep going, okay? So I'm going to put like a 12-inch tail on this, all right? And I'm going to take it up to the top. And I'm going to bring it down here, and then I'm going to pinch and twist and go up here. But I want a big bow, and this is this is the um, the way I would make a treetop bow if you were doing a treetop. And I told my husband I'm also going to be putting out um, Christmas lights too. We need. We need something to brighten everybody's day and make it a little cheerier, okay? So, this is what I do. Here we go. What do I do now? Wait a minute here. It's already bunching up on me. I'm not going the way it's supposed to. There we go. So, I push down and pinch, and then I twist. And then I come back here, pinch, and twist. Now what I want to do is I want to take my tinsel tie. I want it to go down the middle because I want to catch all the layers here. And what I'm doing is like eyeballing it to get to the middle. And then I'm pinching and twisting pulling, pinching, and twisting. And then laying it back up here for the next row when it comes back. Okay? So I've got one and a half inch, and I've got the two and a half inch. And I'm keeping them together. <clears throat> now I'll bring this down again. Pull it back. You know what? I need to catch this tail in here, too. There we go. Now we got it. Uh-oh. I didn't sit in the paint, did I? And if you, if any of your grandchildren, children, nieces, nephews, do the bunny activity, I want you to send me pictures. I want to see their art. We need to tell them what a great job they did, and we need to plaster it everywhere. I want to pinch 
pinch and twist first. And I'm pushing it towards, this is called the boyfriend peg. Why, I have no clue. But it just is. All right, then we're going back up here. And then we're coming back over here. Which again, I'm gonna pinch, push towards the boyfriend peg and twist. How many of you are gonna put a red bow on your front porch to signify hope? Hi Ty, how are you? Ty's in the house. Ty, are you home? Are the kids home? Where you're at? I'm waiting for the shelter in place. That's going to be coming soon. We got chickens. We got eggs. We got bacon. We're good. <laughs> Hi, Thelma. How's my babies? I got another puppy leaving on Friday. So then we'll be down to three. I'm glad you're back from Florida. Okay, then we'll do another row. This is with the probo the hand. Esther did one on her easy bow. Esther, we or Ty, we did a simple um, trash activity or activity. We made with um, paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls. We made a little bunny stamp, stamped it in the paint and stamped it on the cardboard. That way if somebody didn't have um, construction paper, they can use cardboard. Just a fun activity for the kids. If you don't have paint and you have a um, stamp pads, you could use stamp pads. Just an activity for the kids to keep them occupied. Oh, good. So that means Turry survived taking care of the baby by himself. I hope he did okay. I'm sure he did. But I just hope it wasn't real stressful for him. Yes, it's a lot of fun. That's what every Wednesday is going to be now. An activity for the kids made out of something from home. Something that you have laying around that could be turned into something else. And they can even make an egg if they wanted to with a paper towel. It depends on how you... Um, how you fold it. Okay. So we got our bow. I could have done three, but I chose to only do two. I probably should have done three, but let's see how it turns out. But this baby has gone on my front porch to signify hope. I think I'm gonna take this tinsel tie and wrap it around again and twist just to give it more stability. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to separate our layers. Okay. So you're going to have a wide and a narrow, a wide and a narrow, a wide and a narrow. And the thing to do is pull it like this and fluff it up. But 
I think this will signify poop on my front porch. And if people don't like it, they'll have to look at it. But I am in need of some hoop. This is stressing my daughter-in-law's out. Being pregnant and just having a baby. And we need some hoop. This is a stressful time. The shower already had to be canceled. So it's a stressful, disappointing time. I know there are many, um, many weddings that have been canceled. And there's a lot of people that are just looking for a little hope. So let's hope with this bow, we can give them some hope. Boy, this is a bow you'd put on a new car. Well, hey, Renee, welcome. Awesome idea. Red, white, and blue. America's strong. That's a great idea. Where were you when I decided to start this? <laughs> I needed you earlier. <laughs> we could have done that. We still could. Um, you know what? Let's add something to the middle. Why not? We could add a bow within the bow. We could add a little bit of this, right? Thanks, Renee, great idea. We're glad you joined us. We just did a simple child's project on some cardboard. We made a little stamp out of some toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls, stamped it in the paint and stamped it on the cardboard. Every Wednesday will be maybe a bow activity, but for the most part, every Wednesday is gonna be a child's activity until we get over this. And you know what I'm going to do with this? I am going to create like a starburst in the middle. That's what we're going to do. But let me see how I can do this. We're going to do it like this. And then we're going to catch this with my tinsel tie. And then we're going to cut it You just stimulated my creativity, Renee. Thank you. We are gonna go America Strong. Let's see, how many do I have here? When the bow does that, or twists the ribbon. Thanks, Esther. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven go around one more time. Twelve. Like that. Okay? So what I've done was I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Okay? So now I'm going to find the middle. Alright? Found the middle. Why is that? Like that. There we go. And I'm going to take a little piece of my tinsel tie. Alright? Then I'm going to trim that like that. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to take this down like this. And then I'm going to take it down through the middle and wrap it. We've got a new bow here. And Renee inspired me to do this. So you can all say you saw it here first with the inspiration from Renee. How's that, Renee? First time watching and look at look at what you did. Okay? So there it is in the middle like that. All right? 
Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clip it like that. And then I'm going to dovetail all these pieces. You know how like a flower looks like it has all those like, what do they call them? Stimul, what do they call them? You know what I'm saying? In the middle, it has all those little things that shoot up. What's that called? Come on, peoples, help me out here. You witnessed it here first, but we need to know what they are. <laughs> What are they? And believe it or not, my new sign that I'm working on right now says it's going to say on it, America Strong. Oh, look at that. Do you not love it? Renee, you are my inspiration today. Thank you. Look at that. What do they call those stalks in the middle of a flower? You know, where the bee goes and the bee kind of. Yes. You got it, Renee. Stamens. There we go. There's my America Strong bow. And you saw it here first. I could even curl these if I wanted, make them stand up a little. Ooh, this is gonna look pretty. And then I'm gonna make my America Strong sign and my America Strong sign, I will put out on the porch with my bow. Look at that. What do you think? Y'all like that? Then we got some some streamers hanging down here. I think that's beautiful. I can I, I can even add the red, white, and blue. I have, yes, I know what I will do. We're adding more to this. We are going to add some stars to the bottom of this bow, right? We're going to add some star streamers. What do you think so far? Thank you. Mamsie, is that how I pronounce that? I don't want to sound stupid and I don't want to butcher your name. Let me know if I got that right. Mamsy? Am I right? We are going to be America strong. Oh, you guys, look at you throwing out the hearts. You're awesome. There. And we're going to put these on the bottom too. See now, if I was using a zip tie or or a, um, those real skimpy pipe cleaners, I wouldn't be able to do this. But see, I use tinsel ties. And I better order some soon because everybody's shutting down. That Pioneer place, they shut down. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is America Strong. I am on fire. Thank you. There we go. We are America Strong. And this sucker is going out on my front porch today. We're going to get some hope going. In this neighborhood look at that what do you think different 
I think so. Mamamsi. Do I have that right? I'm sorry if I butchered it. <laughs> okay, what do y'all think? You think that'll generate some uh, hope? I think it better. There we go. America's strong. Let's put these over here so that's in the middle. Thank you, Esther. All right, there we go. And I can even curl these up a little if I wanted. Thanks, Thelma. You saw it here first. We added stamens in the middle. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Looks like the inside of a flower. It might need just some white in there too. Nah, we'll leave it. We could get some stars and have some stars popping out of the middle too. Some silver stars. That would look pretty. It should, right, Renee? <laughs> it should show my spirit and hope that this sucker ends soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. But I think I have to like curl them a little bit. what would happen if I cut it down the middle and made them like long and stringy like the stamens of a flower okay there we go there's my bow of hope for my front porch we'll call this what should we call this The Robin Renee inspired hope bow. There you go. What do you think? Think that's what it should be called? What do you think, Renee? Should we call it that? The sucker's going on the front porch. I put it on the mailbox, but I think the mailman, <laughs> mail woman, would be worried that it might have germs on it. <laughs> I feel so sorry for our postal workers. Grocery people, there we go. Look what we did. We did something different. It was created here. Renee gave me an inspiration and I went with it. Look, look at that, LaVon. We put this in the middle to give it like a burst. I added it to the bow after we made it. What do you think? Does that sim simulate hope? It's the new Robin Hope Renee inspired um, patriotic bow. Hope inspired patriotic bow. America's strong, baby. Remember we were discussing that yesterday? There we go. What do you think? That is one big, ginormous hope bow. It's gone out on my front porch. There you go. Great job, Esther. R&R inspired bow. R&R inspired hope bow. Where are you from, Renee? Yes, you do. You inspired me. This is a group effort. We did it together. 
So we need to we need to show it off and be America strong and proud. This has never been done before. This has never been added to the middle of the bow. I guess I'm going to have to go back and just like do this bow to show everybody exactly how it was done. Here's our art project, Levon. We made stamps, painting stamps out of toilet paper and paper towel rolls. What do you think? Strictly made with everything I had in the house that was trash except the paint. All right, so that's Levon does Tuesdays, um, a child inspired um, project. I do Wednesdays. Now, if there's somebody else, okay, the R and R Hope Bow. I love it. Yeah, but you should have seen me paint in the clouds. You would have done a better job. <laughs> Levon is awesome at painting. I would if I used the right paint brushes, but I was using Dollar Tree paint brushes. So, yes. There you go, Renee. Uh oh, Renee's thinking. She's like use different, different um, lengths in the center to create like fireworks. You saw it here first, ladies. <laughs> I love this group. This is awesome. But there it is. Yeah, we could do short. We could actually do a different color. We could actually do like a white in there. Yes. Or even add some stars popping out from it too. That would be awesome. There we go. All right, this has gone on my front porch. I told my husband we're putting some lights out too. He just shook his head. He knows I'm crazy and he should try and go along with it. Make life a lot easier. All right, guys, I'm going to have to end. Make sure to look for me on Monday night. Um, might have a new sign, two new signs on Monday. So, and do me a favor, put out a red bow on your front porch. We need to get this world simulating hope. We need to, we need to, we need to really um, work together and try and inspire and bring hope to this world. Because if we don't do it, it's not going to happen. Hey, Sue. Hey, Bunner. Hey, Precious. Mr. Little Boy Blue is leaving on Friday for his new home. Miss Peach left yesterday. So we will be down to four. You have a great day too, Esther. You stay safe in Canada. I'm thinking about you, girl. I miss you and Ty times a week so all right and if any of you have children that do the art project send me pictures we want to post them that's great Renee I'm on Friday nights eight o'clock east or no 6 45 Eastern Standard Time and Wednesdays at 2. My husband was down here finishing up um, my new floral storage and I didn't want to interrupt him. He was on a roll so we came on late. <laughs> but, okay. Alright guys, have a great night and thank you for sharing. Thanks for spending time with me. Um, I'm a small business. I sell wreath signs on Robin's Wreath Signs and more. I will try and add a link in the comments. You see something you like, Pete, private message me. 
send me your PayPal Addy and your zip code and we'll get them right off to you. All right, guys, have a great night. Thanks.